Jason, how do you feel about what we're about to do? I don't feel very good about it. Hey guys, so why am I up on a Saturday morning at 7 a.m., you ask? Well, let me enlighten you. Teddy woke me up to go to the bathroom, so I wobbled out of bed and I let him outside and my parents were down here. They're so cute, sitting on the couch, um, drinking a cup of coffee and the sunrise was really, really pretty. So I decided to come down and sit with them and then my little sister wandered down. So we're all just enjoying it. And mom, I don't know if you guys can see, has already started decorating for Christmas. She's so cute, look at that. Even put our coffee in the cutest little um, coffee mugs. Mom, where are these from, Pier 1? Pier 1. That's, That's what I thought. Pier. And don't they have like a matching teapot if you want it? I believe they do, and we have the plates that go with And we have the, the bowls. plates and the bowls. Ooh, Very fast. you go all out, Mama. <laughs> um, so we are sitting down here, and Dad told Jelly Bean, he was like, you know, I remember when the first Apple computer came out, and Jelly Bean said, me too. And Dad said, no, you don't. And she goes, well, I might not have been alive, but I remember it. It was pretty so fun. I guess our neighbors have decided to um, put up a hot air balloon and go for a ride on this fine Saturday morning. That's so crazy. We looked outside and one second they were just driving up and the next second there was this huge hot air balloon filling up. I wonder if I walked down there and asked them if I can go on a ride in the basket, they would let me. I mean, I don't want to impose on their, um, I guess, afternoon plans. Who knows who it is? Yeah, I won't. But I think that's really awesome. They're all like working really hard and I think it's awesome. My parents have such an amazing view here if I zoom out a little bit you guys could see a little better like look how pretty that is and when the sun was just rising it was gorgeous they do this a lot here. really yeah they're practicing for the um fun fest oh that makes sense well then they need someone to practice on right we should go ride I've always wanted to ride in a hot air balloon I just don't understand how they land it like it, little, like, strings. They have strings that they can like throw down. Okay. That's just know. so weird to me. So I am here with Anne Marie. She is driving us to the the Anna Mile. When I first saw the spelling of it, for some reason, I thought it was called like the Amelie, and it took me a really long time to figure out that it was Anna Mile. But anyways, we are rocking our Pray for Shay shirts because it is in honor of Sheridan, and these were the shirts that we were wearing when she was still in the hospital and we were all fighting for her and stuff. And um, so, Anne Marie and I were trying to decide what to wear, and I'm like, well, we're doing a race. Like, you know, we gotta wear our, our race gear, you know, dress like for a marathon. And then um, we were talking to all of our friends and they said that like all the girls are just wearing jeans and boots and the t-shirt because it's actually not a race it's more of like a walk like a lot of people are bringing their dogs and stuff so um we decided to go with jeans and boots and then i was thinking about it and i was like you know even if we do have to run this mile it's not like a mile is that far i think we could work it out i mean we like walk more than a mile in heels when we go shopping anyways yeah because yeah, totally. if you shop for a couple hours you know yeah that's kind of what you do right yeah so i think we are going to go get pals which i'm so excited about i haven't had pals well since the last time i was in kingsport but um it's basically just a restaurant that has or a drive through that has really awesome burgers and fries and milkshakes and sweet tea and stuff and they don't have them out in LA. And this is actually where I worked when I was uh, 15 to 16. I worked at this restaurant and I was on wieners. So I worked the wiener grill and um, it, was, it was actually really fun. And I feel like, I like that I had kind of like that fast food experience and um, not gonna lie, I kind of miss it. I think it was fun. Did you, you worked at Pal Sun, right? I did. I worked at Sharon's, which is basically like pals. And looking back, it was my favorite job. I mean, you had fun. Everybody was always nice and I don't know. I kind of liked it. Yeah, I think it was really fun. And I also think that I um, like would play games with myself. So basically when you go up to order, you don't order to a screen, you order to an actual person. Like the, they slide open the window and you give them their order and then they repeat it to you so that you know that they got it right. But then when they're repeating it to you, they're also saying it into a microphone. So say someone got like a junior burger with cheese, no onion, which is what I get at ketchup. Um, and like a hot dog, no mustard, at 
ketchup or something. So when they say that out loud, the person on hot, do hot dog, even though the order hasn't gone through completely, they can go ahead and start making it. And then when the receipt prints out, is this making any sense to anyone? Yeah. When the it's receipt, totally. okay. Yeah. When the receipt prints out, they um, put it on this little thing and slide it down the line so it goes to the other window and then the cars like wrap around and then pick up their food. Um, and I always would play a game with myself that I would try to get all of the hot dogs done before that person's order hit the end of the line. And it was actually pretty quick. So it was, it was hard to do, but it made time go by so fast. So this is the exact pals that I worked at for um, an entire year so you can see it's a super small building you can't go in it's like a drive through only and it's so cute and they have a new saying every day on the PAL 7 service board today it says it goes without saying um, but my favorite one they used to always do ones like brush your teeth and love your animals and things like that so I thought that was pretty fun um, and I just realized how curly my hair is and I was talking to Anne Marie we can't figure out what I did differently today than every time because most of the, I mean I curl my hair pretty much every day but it's always like looser and stuff and today it's like I feel like a poodle so we're trying to figure out what it is but yes this is the pals that I worked at and look how pretty it is we just finished the parade and I had a little bit of a dumb moment. It came to my mind because you guys know, I thought it was the Amelie or whatever race, but it's the Animile and everybody had their dogs with them. And I was like, haha, Animile kind of sounds like animal. Well, that's what it was supposed to be. And I thought I was so smart and just like punny and I don't know. But anyways, then um, there was the Animile and then we went on the Pray for or Live for Shay float in the um what's it called like the christmas parade which it's weird why do they have the christmas parade i feel like i'm like hogging no the idea. camera no. i don't know we can't decide why they have the christmas parade they do it the weekend before thanksgiving every year and i have no idea why but they always do i was making sure she was in frame um yeah that's so weird it's not even thanksgiving yet but i mean i guess my mom's decorated for christmas yeah. We haven't put our tree up yet though, so I'm excited. We're waiting on Ellie to get here. I didn't film anything at the Animile or the parade just because it was, how do you? It was kind of emotional, so, um, and kind of just like a personal moment. Yeah. It just, I didn't feel like vlogging would be the right thing to do. So I didn't film at the um, race slash walk or at the parade just because, um, I just, I didn't feel like it was quite right. Like I just need to like, I don't know. I feel bad because she drives everywhere because I don't have a car out here. Um, but she is driving. We are going to go meet up with Katie and Paige and go eat at a place called Miso's, which I've never been to, but they say that it's kind of like Moto's, um, which is where I got the sesame chicken with shrimp sauce that I had in the other video. And I absolutely love it. So I'm like so excited. I was like, do they have shrimp sauce? And they said yes. And I was like, can we go please? Um, yeah, so we are gonna go meet up, eat dinner there, and then I don't, do you know what we're gonna do after? I don't know what we're gonna do after. We'll just play it as it comes, I guess. We're gonna play it by ear. Uh, yeah, so we are headed that way now. All right, guys, so I am here at Katie and Paige's apartment, and we are with Anne Marie and Ben. Ben, how do you feel about what we're about to do? I don't feel very good about it. So, <laughs> do you wanna tell everyone what we're about to do? We are. You guys are going to, going to be watching Magic Mike. Okay, and you're not going to watch it? <laughs> no. Yes, you are. You're going to sit here, right? I'll be, I'll be here, yeah. He's, he's going to be here in support of Katie while we, <laughs> we fangirl over Channing Tatum. I mean, come on. Um, they have a really cute apartment. Condo. What, what is this? Condo. Condo. What's the difference? I don't know. Do it's know? like a townhouse. Condos you can buy. Apartments you rent from someone. I know that. You can buy a pop. Well, you can. Too. I don't think you can buy a one single apartment though. Like I we just bought this sure. one. We didn't buy the whole building. Yeah. Eddie K, my BFF, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? But Katie's know. birthday was recently, so they still have their birthday banner up, and it's so cute. Anyways, um, everybody should comment happy birthday. Katie, because <laughs> it was her birthday a while um, ago. Have you come a long way with your YouTube channel? <laughs> it's still in progress right now. It's in progress? Yeah. The channel's in progress. Okay. We're working on it. It's just slower. Do you have any name ideas? 
Not yet. I'm thinking he should do bodybuilder Ben. <laughs> That's pretty good. Like Bob, but, like Bob the Builder Ben. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You guys should leave a comment below and let me know if you have like a clever kind of like name that Ben can name his uh, YouTube channel about fitness and health <laughs> and stuff. Anyways, and we are nutrition. going. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't you forget it it's nutrition too so we're gonna go ahead and uh watch magic mike but we will see you guys tomorrow can i wear this to breaking dawn no please you didn't no. let me wear it yesterday no the people behind you will be very upset we can sit in the back row